end of the year, on the second year of this uh, pond in the pot. Uh, everything's looking good. A lot of the summer plants have died back. My hanging pots um, are doing really well. If you've watched my other video on how to make them, you can see how much they've grown in and really taken over. Especially the pothos plant has really grown all the way around and started to go around the front. I really want all the plants to really cover the pot and make the pot kind of go away. And you can see how all the hanging pots have really grown around and gone out of control. There's only three there, but it really does make a nice back for, back for it. And now it's starting to come around the front. And the nice thing is too, you know, like you get little ones like here, they're dead, you just pop them off. Trim. You know, the other ivy that's growing in this uh, planter here, that's gone down here, has really gone all the way around, on through here, and then I've been just winding it around the lighthouse. Um, but this definitely keeps some sort of greenery and foliage for when the summer plants die off until you replant for next year. Because um, as you've seen in my other videos, a big tall plant that's usually coming through here that's really tall um, is died off. It's still in there, it will come back next year. All the lily pads and floating plants that grow during the summer have died off. They're still in there, but they'll come back next year. It definitely leaves a lot of foliage, um, but it's really evolved nicely over the last two years and grown in. Next summer, it should grow in even more and hopefully cover the front of the pot. Um, all the fish have been in there for two years. They stay out all year. You can see three of them. The big one, oh, there's the big one. He's usually hiding. I haven't fed them yet, so they see me and they're all begging. That's what goldfish do best. They beg for food. Uh, but everything looks really good for two years. Been really good. Uh, during the winter, as we're approaching winter, I do run a small heater during the winter. Usually leave it unplugged during the day. And if I know we're going to get a frost or get really cold, um, I plug it in just to help them out. You don't really need it, but the fish stay more active if you keep the uh, water temperature up a little bit. Because if you let it get really cold, what they'll do is they'll start hibernating. I'm in South Carolina. It doesn't get super cold. So I just supplementally use the heater here and there just to keep them more active. Uh, all my grasses are growing really well. And everything's doing really good. Thanks for uh, always tuning in. And I appreciate it. If you need any uh, advice or questions, just comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.